All right. Uh, welcome to this surprise impromptu stream. Um, so if you watch the Epic Store, Lawnmower Simulator came out yesterday. They had a few little problems um, getting it up and running, uh, but they did get it patched today. Uh, so it's actually playable. So yesterday the, the game wouldn't play on the Epic version, um, but now it is actually playing. So I thought I'd pop in and take a look at what's stream. going on here. Uh, there we go. Let's kill that audio. Um, now I am playing the PC version um, off of the Epic Store. Uh, so there could be some different things that will be a little bit weird. I've got a game controller here if I have to plug it in. Uh, but I'm going to try to do this without that for sure. Uh, so we're in the game here. I went ahead and turned the menu music off uh, just in case there's any kind of copyright issues. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Uh, so the first thing... Um, based off of just you know general first look type of stuff um is we are playing here um let's see which okay so i don't see it supporting my native resolution on this monitor uh, we're not playing windowed though so that does make it so that if we pop out um of this window it goes to the desktop that's fine uh it does seem to be stretching um, onto my window, so we might make a change there as well. Um, let's see what else do we got. Like I said, I lowered the the menu music volume, but everything else I've left as normal there. Um, went ahead and, you know, I'm playing in the U.S., so that stuff is set as default. Um, so we do have controller and mouse and keyboard, so we're going to try to do this on the mouse and keyboard. Uh, see what it looks like on the mouse and keyboard. So the first thing we need to fix is uh, monitor resolution here. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, when I jump out of the, the window, cause we're not in windowed mode, although let's see what that does. Uh, let's turn window mode on and confirm. Uh, okay, so yeah, it just, it did stick it in a, a window. Uh, but now I can probably get out of the screen. So let's go ahead and open up our display settings here. Uh, so the first time you play a game, so like I said, I literally have just gone into this. Uh, you'll often catch yourself having to go through different screen settings and such. Uh, let's turn no scaling on for this particular game. And the screen just went dark, so we'll see what that looks like on the stream. Um, okay, so we got no scaling on there. Now we'll go ahead and go back into options and we're going to turn this back off. Back to full screen. No, there we go. Um, and it appears to be ignoring those settings. All right, so let's jump back out there real quick and see. No scaling, no scaling, no scaling. Okay, so that's the first little just kind of interesting thing. Um, now, when I'm playing, obviously, at home, this is the kind of stuff that I normally just take care of. You know, you kind of work your way through it. Um, but I thought I would do all this live, literally just turn on the stream and see what happens. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it back up. So, yeah, so what it should be doing is black barring my monitor. Uh, it looks like it's tried to a little bit here at the top. Um, yeah, okay, so maybe at the bottom it has, um, although on the stream you can't see the options confirm stuff along the bottom, so I'm uh, not sure why it is ignoring that. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and exit out of here just to see if maybe restarting it will, will fix that or trigger that. If not, we'll just play. We'll play with what it is. All right, let's see. Open this back up. Ah, uh, that might have fixed it. Looks like it's black barring correctly now. Oh, then that one went to full screen. We'll see what happens when it... Yeah, doesn't doesn't look like it is. So, okay. Um, first little weirdness to it. 
Um, what we will do is... Da, 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 da. Let's try a borderless window. Yeah, even that um, is interesting enough not resizing it. So it's going to full screen on my monitor, um, but not not doing the resolution that I'm, I'm asking it to do. Uh, so this is a, something you, you deal with kind of, you know, on the PC side more than maybe on a console side or something like that. Um, that 1080 setting is, is just not registering. Uh, let's see if there's any other options here. We've got yes. Uh, let's try that. Nope. All right. Well, we're just going to play it. Play it the way it plays. So. Turn that back on. Okay, so basically you guys won't be able to see the bottom. I can still see it on my screen. I uh, just not gonna come through on the stream. Um, okay, let's go ahead and close that. And the other thing is if I type in the chat, uh, we're gonna lose that. Now that's one thing you gain if you play the the windowed version is when you leave the window it won't it won't disappear like that, but all right, um, so we've got a couple different modes here at the top. You can definitely feel the controller style setup. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we've got this challenge mode. We've got this free mo mode. Uh, we've got the the um, add to cart of the expansions and stuff like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and just try try career mode here. Oh sure, I've never played this before, so we should probably play with the tutorials. All right. Uh, so in this mode, you create your own lawn mowing company and build it up from the for, uh, build up its reputation. Um, as you expand your company, you can hire employees, purchase more mowers, and unlock new contracts. But first, your company needs setting up with a name, logo, and uniform. Um, so I will admit, uh, mowing lawns is not my favorite thing to do. Uh, so one thing I am curious about is how do you take something that maybe isn't fun for a lot of people and make it fun? Um, see a lot of games like that, either the simulation, power washing simulation. I think I've got a pottery game on my wish list on Steam. So, you know, how do you take these things that people would consider more normal activities and make them fun? So, okay. Enter a company name. Okay, just type. All right, what is color? Oh. All right, so it looks like there is a character limit there. Um, so that's fine. Um, I don't think I spelled it right, though. Deconstruction. There we go. Learn to type. Okay, we've got a name. Now what does it want us to do next? I'm going to guess company logo. Okay, company name it saved. Uh, company logo. Oh, look at all that. Uh, so I was kind of expecting this kind of pre pre built in stuff. Uh, that one's interesting. Torn between the the company mower and the company saw blade. That looks aggressive. Let's go with that. Uh, don't see any. Let's right click. Now, I don't see any like way to color it or anything like that. Uh, so we'll just stick with that. Okay, so we've got a company name, we've got a company logo. Uh, we can edit our player. So on the screen, you can customize your in-game appearance of your player avatar. As well as their physical appearance, you can change the colors of the company uniform and where your company logo is displayed. All right, player name. Um, we'll call him just decon. I'm not very creative today. Player avatar. Looks like 12, 12 choices. Uh, looks like in a variety of male and female. Looks like about every other one from what I can tell. I'm kinda, that guy looks angry. I want an angry mower. He doesn't look bad. Let's go with that dude. 
All right, we'll pick him. Oh, we can change his hat. Okay, so there we get some colors. Uh, for safety reasons, we're going to wear a bright orange hat. All right, logo placement. Front and back. Can we spin our guy? What about the keyboard? Nope. Uh, front only, back only. Yeah, let's go front and back. Logo placement. Oh, this one we just did. Uniform colors. Okay, primary color. Kind of digging the black, although you could argue if you're going to be out working in the sun, that might not be the best color to go with. Orange is pretty bright. Um, I could go with a red. We'll just go with white. What's our secondary color? White and orange. I kind of want to. I want to spin him. Uh, makes our logo hard to see. That's okay. Um, okay, I think that covers everything. Let's see if there's a better color though. To oh, gray will work. Uh, it's still a little reflective, um, but we can now see our logo. All right. So what do we have here? Um, looks like, I think that's the EU symbol um, for the money. Um, I think this is a, like the legendary edition has like British things on it. So it could be there. Uh, we have a rank. It's Monday, March of 2021. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Company name, company logo, edit player. All right, start company, career mode. Are you happy with your company setup? Select accept to start or back if you want to make more changes. Let's go for it. Okay, uh, now you have a company of your own. You will need your first vehicle to get cutting. Select a vehicle from the list below and take it for a test drive. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, let's see, career mode. This vehicle is equipped with a collector type deck. That means you cut the grass, the grass clippings are sucked up into the vehicle hopper. No piles of grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine or your hopper is full. Um, so I kind of like the, the test drive concept of, you know, if you don't know anything about mowing lawns and you just have to pick something from a picture, you know, how do you know if that's exactly what you want or not? So the test drive is kind of cool. Uh, this vehicle is equipped with a side discharge type deck. That means you cut the grass. Grass clippings are discharged from the side chute. Uh, cutting with these types, always keep in mind the direction you're mowing to avoid dropping grass piles on paths or flower beds. That seems like a gameplay mechanic there. Now what's this one? Mulcher type deck. This vehicle is equipped with a mulcher type deck. This means that you cut the grass. The grass cuttings are cut so small that no visible blades are left. No piles of grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine, which will mean the deck doesn't have power to cut the grass blades. And it looks like those are the three that we can have. Um, so when it says test drive, I'm wondering if do we get to actually go and drive these or not? So... Um, I don't see any costs associated with them. Um, you know, so the power gamer in me is like, well, let's get the most expensive one that we could get to start our company. Uh, looking through this, the cut size, 33 inches, 31 inches, 39 inches. It says the widest cut. Uh, fuel tank, one and three quarter, or does that say three eighths? One and three eighths, one and three eighths. One of five eights. So that's a little bit bigger. Collector, rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive. Uh, it has to be 5.57 and 4.3. So this one's quicker, uh, but cuts less. Uh, 10 horsepower, 9.5 horsepower, 9.5 horse or 9.9 .9 horsepower. And we've got a 63. That's for the hopper. Leaning towards this one, I like the mulching. Um, now, I don't know if the game mechanics have it so that does the mulching make grass grow better? Um, do we get anything for leaving our customer with a healthier lawn or is it just about the cutting uh, part of the game? So uh, that's something that's kind of an unknown right now, uh, but we'll take and see. Okay, I'm going to choose night. Uh, press the R key for a test drive. Are you sure you want to test drive the night? I do. So this will be the first. I really didn't pay very close attention to the controls. Um, I'm hoping it's WASD style. 
Uh, we shall see. Oh, it's a test drive area. Nice. Uh, you can familiarize yourself with a particular vehicle in condition similar to the real contract. Approach the vehicle to get in. You sh oh, that's kind of cool. So we are in first person mode here. Yep, W D S D. Do I have a jump? Don't appear to have a jump. Oh, I can run. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm guessing that is our lawnmower. Um, okay, I like the tool tips, you know, where it's given me into tutorial style mode. Uh, one of the things about a lot of games is you have to kind of assume people are not going to read anything. And so will it walk me through all of the details of like, okay, do you even know how to get on your mower? And this is kind of nice to see. Um, let's see if it, I don't think we can jump. So I guess we can't get over the walls. Um, is there anything else to look at? Doesn't appear to be any stamina or anything like that. Um, now the escape key was option. So that is still here. That's kind of cool. I am going to turn on, I thought I saw, uh, what do we got here? Yeah, let's crank that up. I'm not going to crank that up. I thought I saw in here a uh, first person dot. I'm going to turn that on. I uh, went to Imperial Units. All right. I'm going to try that just to see if it shows up better. Okay, so that's kind of nice having the little reticle dot to kind of know where you're looking. Some people might like that. Some people might not like that. Um, kind of depends on your play style. Uh, but I kind of like it, so I'm going to leave that on. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some testing here. So let's get all the way back to our mower. Press F. Okay. Uh, once you're on your vehicle, you will need to get it started and onto the grass. Each vehicle is slightly different to get going. Follow the steps to get started at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so let's see, can you guys, yep, you guys can see that. Okay, so start engine, hold Z to start the vehicle's engine. Awesome. Increase throttle, use I and T, I and T, okay, to change the vehicle's throttle setting. Okay, so I goes up, and or T goes up, and I goes down. W to accelerate and brake. S to brake and reverse. Uh, e and C to change the cut height. Uh, Q to lower the deck. All right, so down in the bottom right, I see the cut height changing. All right, we'll set it at two. Q to lower the deck. Probably don't want to do that on the ramp here. Uh, that's probably dangerous, so we'll put that back up. Z to engage and disengage the cutting blades. Uh, okay, let's see. So I can't, I just wanted to see if they would move in this but since the thing's not engaged, okay, so Q. Oh, I think I killed it. Uh, I and T, okay. Z to engage. There we go. Things are happening now. That looks dangerous on your trailer, but. Drive to the grass. Uh, if the vehicle started, take a moment to get used to it and drive over the grass. You can start cutting. All right. So what happens if we drive it off of the, the little trailer here with all the stuff running? Uh, let's see. Three thousand is the highest I can go. Okay, there's the turnkeys. Okay. 
Alright, so I'm going to try to not move the mouse and just use the controls now. Now what happens if we we're going to put the RPMs all the way down? Are we still... Okay, Z... I think Z shuts it off. But I thought it said Z to... Z to engage and disengage the cutting blades. Okay, that ex... Okay, so you just have to tap it. So I think if you hold Z... Oh, no, that's not happening. Alright, not sure what I was doing wrong before. Maybe I'm just... Okay, so here, this is kind of cool. So I think what's happening... Let's start it back up here. Is... My throttle is too low. So let's... Yeah, so if my throttle is low and I try to engage the cutting blades, it kills the engine. Um, I've never driven a mower quite like this, so I'm assuming that's accurate. But if my throttle is high and I press Z, it engages the blades. Now what happens if I lower my throttle? Okay, yep, so that's kind of cool. See, I'm learning about lawnmowers. Can't say that I've ever driven a big, fancy riding lawnmower like this. Now my cursor is getting a little lost on the second monitor right now, so that's a little weird. But okay, let's throttle up, engage our blades. Uh, let's set our cut height. To to what? Um, Let's start really, really low and see what happens. I'm trying to get my mouse back to the game screen. Hold on here. Let's do this, and hopefully that will bring it back. Okay. Mm, nope. Stuck it off on the other monitor. All right. Eh, there we go. Okay. So let's let's cut here. All right. Uh, once on the grass, you now need to get your deck ready by first setting the cut height and then engaging the cutting blades. You should only ever turn on your blades when on grass. Otherwise, you will damage them and affect their ability to cut. Yeah, I screwed that up pretty good. Okay, it didn't punish me yet though, so... Okay, I think we need to re-engage our blades. Uh, when the contract shoe will be required to cut the grass to a certain height. Each contract will have its own height. The grass needs to be cut. Set your cutting height within the range of one to two and a quarter and cut 20% of the grass. Okay. Notification. If you want to get off the vehicle for any reason, press and hold Q. Okay. All right, we are scalping the crap out of the grass here. You're cutting at the wrong... I missed that message. Uh, you're overloading your engine. Slow down. You're cutting at the wrong cut height. All right, so what I'm curious about, let's back up here. And let's raise our cut height by pressing... I thought it was the V key. C, F. All right, let's jump back into the controls. Uh, start engine, lower deck, accelerate brake, race cut height, E and C. So, E. So let's set it all the way to the top. Now I'm gonna make another, another run at this. I'm going to hold Q. Hey, 
Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but these these blades definitely look longer than these blades over here. Um, so the the different cut heights does have a visual indication. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, hold the sprint. All right, so back on the mower we go. Oh, fill fuel. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, fill fuel has a cost. Change cutting blades has a cost. Um, I don't know what recover does. Huh. Wasn't what I was expecting, but okay. Uh, get on the vehicle. Alright, let's raise our cutting deck, which was what? Q? Alright, let's just start it. Yeah, Q raises it and lowers it. Alright, increase the throttle. So it's definitely a simulation. Uh, we'll give it that. So Z will start this. Uh, I think we're supposed to cut between one and two. So let's lower our cutting. Let's do an inch and a half. Can't do an inch and a half. Um, inch and three quarters. Nope. I, I can missed a message, so. Nope. One and five eighths. No, it seems to like that. Nope. One and one eighth. Nope. One inch. Nope. Alright, let's go the other way. Two inches. Okay, seems like two inches. Alright, so if I just hold W down, it just seems to accelerate here. Oh, that wasn't good. Not sure what I hit. So can we trace along the edge here? Does it cut the... Oh, it does cut those plants down. That's probably not good. Ugh. Doesn't like it when you hit the bushes. But I can hit the wall. No, it doesn't like that either. So like these... These plants out here, I can hack those down. Probably not what we would want to do. So we'll try to leave these plants and not kill them. Uh, so this was the part I was a little curious about is... Part of these style of games, like the power washing simulator, this one is... There's something... Uh-oh, ProView. By holding control while stationary, you can engage ProView, which highlights areas of grass that have not been cut to the required height. This is useful when you are trying to find the last bits of grass to cut and complete a contract. Awesome. Oh, let's see if we can get that back. Okay. Can I turn that back off if I hold it down? Okay, there seems to be this pattern of to toggle something on, you press the key. So I press the control. And then you hold it down. Alright, let's get rolling again. Now I noticed that earlier if I was just holding W down and got going too fast, like if you're going downhill, it didn't seem to like that. It would be, once you're going too fast, I think it overloads it. Uh, hit the wood again. Alright, there was our test cuts. So anyway, you know, there's something kind of calming. Uh, I don't know exactly what the right word is of, like, kind of the sand garden idea, right? Like, you know, people have those little, little sand gardens in their office and just kind of working and making patterns and stuff like that. I think that's a big part of, of this style of game. All right, so I think we're about to get a lap done here. 
So on the keyboard, it's not too bad. Uh, kind of hard to see around the bushes there. There's something got a little mad at me. Got like a red. All right, let's take those bushes out. All right, so there's where I started. Okay, so now if I Z disengage, I could theoretically come around here, turn around. Okay, so it's leaving like little tire tracks across the grass. That's kind of cool. And then I would come here, re-engage. So let's go down this hill and see what happens. Will we get too much speed? Because they're right there. That kind of went into the red. Like I over-revved it or something like that. Right there. Doesn't like that when I hit that four and a half. Now I think I said I had to cut, what, 20%? Something like that. Now I'm curious, um, in the career mode, you know, is the cutting efficiency like... Can I zoom in? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's check. Change camera. Okay, we might check that out. There's a reset camera. Uh, where was that? Reset camera. Control. Uh, A and D. Okay, we got that pretty much down. Get off vehicle. Lower stripe roller. I don't even know what that is. Toggle cruise control. Okay, that's a that's a nice one that it hasn't given me yet. Uh, okay, let's play around with the camera a little bit. Change camera is V. Okay, that, that I like there. More the first person as opposed to the third person. So we've got, looks like we got a far, which actually has some value. Uh, we've got a closer, closer, and then this first person. So this feels like, so if I do this and hit tab. Okay, so now I'm not holding the W key down. A horrible way to mow, I'm sure, but but in this view, you can kind of line up, right, where you've cut and where you haven't cut. Uh, what's interesting about this is, so I'm wondering in career mode, like, let's say I was mowing this lawn and I mowed it all this way. You know, I'm going to use more gas because I'm not cutting as efficiently, right? So, whereas if I'm mowing all the way over here and getting more more bang for my buck. Alright, so I tried to just tap the the S key. Okay, the cruise control is trying to pull it back up. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa let's stop there. Okay, so I see here, right, so when I was cutting here, my two runs were were not the most accurate. Can I hold the control key down and Nope. Alright, let's get back on our mower. And I'll hold the control key. Okay, that's kinda cool. So it makes it so like even along the edge there, you can see where I wasn't quite where I'm supposed to be. Uh that's kinda useful. Alright, let's start this beast back up. Run our throttle up. Um, I think our deck is down. Yep, our deck is down. Z to engage. Alright, I'm going to hit a tap W once and then hit cruise control. If you are a professional groundskeeper, and I, I am making your head hurt with my lawn mowing skills. I do apologize. I've only ever used a push mower. I'm curious. Okay, so in that view, notice that the the bushes aren't highlighted. So I don't think we're supposed to chop those down. 
Alright, let's turn that mode back off. I'm trying to see if I can get it to like... Like two miles an hour. Yeah, the the W key's a little touchy. What are the controller triggers? Okay, so triggers on the controller are probably a little easier because you have more analog control um, on a trigger. So we might play around with that. I'm not sure. Um, a W key is a digital. It's either on or off. So you're not getting that kind of smooth ramping of, of speed. So I'm assuming if you can get yourself lined up here. Okay, so we're cruising at 3.2. Not too bad. All right, I think it said 20% or 25%, so. All right, this time we're gonna try to swing her out here. There we go. Oh, almost like we're a professional. This tree is gonna present a problem, I think. So let's slow down. We'll go back to manual control here. All right, so we only Oh, we took out a bush. That's probably going to hurt our pay. So this might be a case where if we go to this view, can we just work our way around? I don't know what the turning radius is. Uh, that's about as tight as it's going to turn. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm wearing holes into the, the turf here. Uh, probably, a, again, a horrible thing to do as a groundskeeper. All right, let's leave that there and see if it... See if it stays there like that. I'll admit, though, there is a, like I said, a calming Zen Garden style thing for kind of working your way through here. Now, are you supposed to mow backwards? Whoa, it's not. That didn't turn out well. All right, great work. Uh, in a real contract era, you would be expected to cut all the grass. Uh, when a contract has been completed, you now have to store your vehicle on the trailer and they interact with your pickup truck to leave the location. Okay, so at this point we should shut the blades off. We should lift our our deck there. And let's head across. I feel bad for whoever's grass this is though. We messed it up pretty good. Alright, so this might be a case where going to this view may be easier. Okay, so there's a limited, um, looks like there's a limited camera pitch in that view. So that one's a lower angle. Okay, starting to get a feel for the different cameras. Alright. Okay, cue to get off the mower. All right, let's see if any of these. Let's say hit E. Okay, so you hold E to fill it up. Nice. Change cutting blades. Nice. All right. Leave location. 
purchase vehicle. After completing the test drive, you can purchase the vehicle, or would you like you can test drive one of the other available vehicles? All right, so let's go to the. Yeah, that's a big bad boy there. Um, let's try this one. Are you sure? No, I don't want to purchase it. I hit the wrong key. Uh, R for test drive. The Patterson. Skag I've heard of as a lawnmower. Uh, I think I watched a YouTube video where somebody was using one. Okay, can we skip this? Yes, we can. All right, we should be a little bit better at it this time. Z to start. T to throttle up. Okay, so the, interesting. This has a cut height of five inches to one and a half. So that's interesting. So the different models have different potential capacities. So you'd have to know your what your mower can do in order to take certain jobs, maybe. Uh, okay. Does five even cut anything? Let's check that. Is it the same thing? Yep, Z engages the... The things it's gonna be mad at us because we're cutting at the wrong height, but that's okay. All right, then let's go down to four inches. All right, so this is the one that blows it out the side, I think. All right, so let's drop down to two inches where it's what, where it wanted us before. And on this one, let's just do some straight back and forth cuts. So I wonder if when we hit that red line, if that is like giving us a problem. Like if it's not cutting as well. Definitely a narrower, narrower path of cutting. And I don't know if I'm blowing the clippings all over the place. That was a horrible corner. Yeah, look at how badly I did there. That's pretty bad. Uh, I probably shouldn't be going full throttle. But I don't see a... I mean, it's blowing the clippings out the side, it looks like. But I don't see them, like, building up a big pile or anything. So I'm not sure if it has anything where it's you have to collect that stuff up. Although I am doing a horrible job of cutting this grass. Alright, so now let's look at my horrible cutting in this view. Uh, hold down control. Hmm. I'm not getting that glowy, that glowy white thing for the... Alright. Can I... Test drive 2 to 2 and 3 eighths. Oh, okay, it has stuff. No, we'll jump out of that one. So let's try this one.
All right. Okay, so this time I, I've plugged in the controller. So you, okay, so I like this. I uh, noticed that the prompts have changed, right? Can I still hit R or F? I guess it was. Okay, so I typed on the keyboard. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, give them props for that. So when I use the controller to move around, it shows me the controller. But if I press W, it changes the tooltips to whatever the last device I was using. So. Okay, hold X to start the engine. Oh, it's got rumble. Holy cow. Okay, the use the... All right, there's our throttle. Cool. Uh, up and down to change the cutting height. So let's go down to two. X to disengage the cutting blades. All right, what is my, let's see, uh, it's lost my mouse, there we go. What is that camera, camera, change camera, Y key, okay. Uh, y key. Okay, I don't know if that's a bug or whatever. My dude just disappeared. Um, going in and out of that menu messed up my, my little guy, so. Uh, let's do this as well. What is the cruise control? Cargo cruise control, left of the left bumper. All right, that's nice. I'm just kind of, yeah, the 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 sticks give it a little more on the um, trigger buttons. All right, so um, it does play fine on the the keyboard, uh, but I would say uh, for anything where you're driving, honestly, having a controller is definitely an advantage here. All right, let's go ahead and just we'll make a turn here. Oh, that wasn't quite where I wanted to turn. I do like my ghost mower now though. With no person on it. All right, we'll go ahead and make a turn here. And now we're lined up with where we left off. I still haven't decided if I like cutting in this view or the more first person view. Camera controls are a little bit easier on the controller as well. Now that could be just partially due to my multi-monitor setup. Um, that does mess around with games sometimes in that when the mouse cursor gets off the screen it's on a different monitor and then the game doesn't know exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, so that can't happen. So I don't want to blame, blame that. I think the camera controls are actually pretty decent. Yeah, turning's definitely easier with the analog sticks versus the digital keys. Playable on the keyboard, a better experience on the controller um, is what I would say there. All right, let's crank this baby up and see see what it'll do. Ah, 
I think that's full throttle. I think that's all the acceleration I got. So I don't still understand that part where it like bogs down and goes red. Um, my gut feels like it's we're cutting too much. Hold on, I've got to clear out some chat stuff here. Let's remove. Alright, Nightbot. Looks like Nightbot caught most of it. Thank you, Nightbot. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, looks like it has been dealt with. Uh, let me check it on a different view here. All right, clean, clean. All right, and Okay, sorry about that. I think it's all cleaned up now. Okay, sorry, I think think I've got all of the the chat cleaned up. All right. Back to mowing. Yeah, so when it goes to that red, I'm not 100% sure what that means. All right, let's hit the cruise control. Oh, come on. Engage. What am I not doing right? Yeah, right. Not sure why the button's not working, but it's trying to, but then it goes off into like in a different mode, so. All right, I think I think we've proven everything we need to prove here. Yeah, I can't tell if it cuts different when it goes into that red mode or or not, but Okay, let's see. What is there a reset back? Can we get back to the right, I'm looking for the the control that basically Uh oh. Let's turn that back on. Alright, let's just go put it on the trailer. I want to check this though. Is this how we empty our... Yeah, I bet you that's, that's how you empty your... your bag. So if you look over... I can't use my mouse cursor. 
There's like a fill, a fill thing there. Uh, right, let's check our our controls for. How do we get on and off? Get off. Hold Q. Hold B. All right. Fill fuel, recover, change the blades. I was thinking there'd be some kind of a empty your basket into these since you've got kind of the, the whatever. All right, let's go ahead and we'll put it on the trailer. Can we drive the truck? There we go. All right, I think it's time to make some decisions. Um, so it looks like when you go to purchase these, there is a cost. Um, so this was for 2600 This section got me undone. That must be how much money we have left, I'm going to guess. Yeah, 2200 So I think we have 3000 So we have to decide um, here early on, do we want to buy the expensive mower for most of our money or a little bit cheaper? Uh, I think you're looking at the difference between 2200, 2650. That's the cheapest, cheapest. So 2150 to 2650. It's not overly more expensive. So let's go with the night. All right, purchase a string trimmer. Um, while mower is great for open areas and grass, string trimmers are perfect for lawn edges and cutting around obstacles. I did find that. Um, the contracts require you to have a mower and a string trimmer to complete them. So if you need to purchase a string trimmer now. Oh, we've also got a night version of that. What do we got? 250, down to 100. Oh, that's the only one I can purchase, so. Are those more expensive? Is that why? Holy cow, that thing looks crazy. Um, okay, so a lot of times here might be where I go back and maybe buy the cheaper mower. Yeah, it's a, I think I just can't afford those. That's a thousand. That's four eighty. So I guess we're going with that one. Select a contract. This is the contract map where you can see available contracts to the select and start. Now your company is set up. Select the contract below. Uh, button and bottom of the map. Okay. So what do we have? Front garden, old nook cottage, complexity, uh, contracts overview, contracts assigned. I don't see any other contracts. Let's grab the controller. Nope. I guess we're just doing this one. Contract setup. Once you have selected the contract, you can see information from the value of the requirements. Uh, you wish to accept the contract. You first need to assign an employee vehicle and equipment. Select either the employee vehicle or equipment option to the left. All right, who's the employee? Uh, contracts need to be employee assigned to them to be attempted at the minute you're only employee, so it has to be you. Uh, you change your company grows. Highlight yourself and then confirm your assignment. Awesome. Vehicle. Uh, contracts need a vehicle assigned to them to be attempted. And the minute you only have one, uh, that will change as your company grows. I like, I like this kind of given like, okay, this is the way it works now, uh, but that might change down the road. Uh, equipment. Uh, string trimmer. So we'll select that one as well. Uh, so it's interesting that, yeah, if you're going to run multiple employees, you also have to have the equipment and stuff to do that. All right, general cut, current grass range five and a eighth to seven and seven eighths, ninety nine percent. Recommended deck width thirty nine and three. This is a pretty big one. Ground check time limit. Oh, I don't like that. 
Uh, recommended cut time 26. Okay, uh, I don't know what a lot of that means. Uh, as you set up in different contracts, or pin on the map will turn yellow, and the contract that you are assigned will, enter, will have a star displayed. The first contract confirmed, you can start it and head to the location and to begin cutting. Okay, so now I have kind of control, it looks like. And again, we just have the one right now, so that's, I guess, what we're going to have to do. Now, mowing with dinosaurs seems like it would be dangerous. So. Okay, two to two and three eighths. Hopefully we can do that. Ground check time limit. I don't know what that means. Recommended cut time, 26. Um, okay. At the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects on the grass area that could either be damaged or damage your vehicle. You can choose to skip the ground check. Oh, okay, so that's what that four minutes is. Um, and have ops automatically removed by interacting with your mower equipment, but this means you don't earn money or RP. All right, so we have four minutes, looks like, to find three objects. All right, that looks to be one. I guess it was like a rock or something. Oh, the pop-ups definitely help. I don't think I would have saw that one. Now I wonder if, if you don't find them in time, that one I think I would have saw. Um, if you don't find them in time, if they just stay there. Wow, whoever lives here has got a nice car. Probably shouldn't be running around their backyard or something. So. Alright, back to the truck. So we have to get it in here. Now, should we trim first or mow first? So I'm guessing that if you cut down all their flowers, they're not going to be happy with you. And that might affect the contract. Uh, so that might be where the stream trimmer could be good. So let's grab that first since we haven't used it. Uh, when the ground check is complete, it starts to cut from grass. You can either... You you can use either the trimmer or the vehicle when you ever you want. Trimmers are best for cutting the edges and any tight areas, while the vehicle is best for large open. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, string trimmers are great for cutting the edges of the lawns up against objects in tight spaces. To use the string trimmer, press and hold RT uh, or the left mouse button. All right, I was checking the the different controls. Right trigger. All right. Okay, so it creates you a nice little circle. Oh, that wasn't good. So I'm not sure, so I am getting progress off this. I'm not sure how it deals with height, because I'm just kind of shoving the thing down into the grass. But.
So we're kind of working our way around the edge here. Hopefully that means we won't chop down the poor people's flowers. Although I admit the the chaos driven version of me wants to do a playthrough where we just hack out all of their flowers. Alright, you can definitely see the, the height differences though. So in the kind of the summary it talked about different grass heights and stuff. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get our our mower next to that bench, so we'll kind of clear out around that. I don't know if it seems to be counting this part. Um, again, I don't have a lot of height control here, I don't think, but... I suppose if you are really wanted to punish yourself, you could do the whole lawn this way. With the string trimmer. Also like here, right? Like this section would be pretty rough to get the mower into. So we'll just clear all this out. So my my human, my body parts are hitting on the walls. So you have to work your way into an area. We'll do the same thing here. Which was it? The, the left button? The Y key? I can't remember. What was that magic key that made the... It was control left trigger for camera, toggle cruise control, get off vehicle blades. Control settings. Oh, that's kind of cool stuff there. Not seeing the that helper thing. Okay, what if I just hold I just use the keyboard version. Okay, looks like eh, I'm still missing along the edges though. You can see. We'll see if that affects our our percentage. Those little bits around the edges. All right, that should give us enough room to get the mower in there. But like here, you can see the. Now it's not happy. Hmm. That might be me. Uh, I don't want to blame the game for. Ooh, flower, flower moved. It didn't get cut down. Uh oh, I did see a, a warning there. Let's see what happened. What did it say? You destroyed a flower. Fine incurred. Okay. So it does punish you for for doing the bad things. We'll try not to do that. They were a little forgiving though. Um, they didn't like I bumped into them like like that. Um, with the trimmer, they're a little forgiving, so you can kind of work your way in. So you don't have to be super careful, right? Like I can bump those. Oh, that one I killed, but. Uh, but as long as you just barely touch them, they seem to be okay with it. Alright, I think that's gotten us most of the way around. Yeah, see like I hit that flower? And I didn't get fined for it. We kind of started over here, but we weren't near as aggressive, so let's clean that up a little bit. Yeah, so now I'm hitting the control key and I'm not getting the... Oh, there it is. 
Okay. Let's put the trimmer away. Alright, let's get on the mower. Alright, so two and three eighths to two. And that's our only two options, I think. Let's see, two to two and three eighths. Recommended finish time, completion target. Okay, so I don't think we have. Let's go aggressive. We'll put it at two. Alright, let's throttle this up. Earn the contract or, or in the contract early. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's go to this view. Uh, lower the cutting deck. Engage the blades. Okay. Your performance during cutting will affect how much money and reputation points you get. Uh, you'll need to find the balance between speed and careful driving, avoiding damaging the flowers or lawn. While cutting quickly to earn a time bonus. Okay. Not sure that we're going to earn much of a time bonus here. Okay, so having that nice edge that we did with the, the trimmer is definitely making it easier. Uh, I don't like driving through the bushes like that. I know I missed some stuff there. But if we can get kind of around the outside here. I think there's some danger in throwing the cruise control on here. Because if I swing wide, I could potentially take out some flowers. But we seem to be doing all right. Here you can see how much better we got with the trimmer. Uh, that's a little more kind of even. Uh, slow down a little bit for that corner. Now I'd probably be smart to kind of section a section out and do it. Maybe not do the whole yard at once. Especially these, these corners. You know, like should we... Should we potentially come over here and just do... Oh, we could have done the trimmer around this stuff here. Like... Like do just this section first, right? Let's see how that does. I'm going to try to round out this corner. And try to round out this corner so that we can just start making our way around. And then we're going to try to... Oh, that was dangerous. So we didn't weed trim this section, so... We'll see how good my driving skills are so we don't take out all the flowers that wasn't horrible uh, we can come back and get to the any grass that we missed all right now we'll just kind of mow this section out so now we're kind of in the Zen mode right it's this kind of okay now we're just kind of cruising tracing the lines that peaceful kind of flow. Right, we'll go around the flowers again. Eventually, I think we're going to have to cut that corner. The 
fuel seems okay. Alright, this section up here on this side of the tree is almost done, so I think what we'll do yeah, let's do another lap. Uh, let's cut across right there. And we'll bring it around here. Now I don't know if there's any bonus um, for making pretty lines. Like I am not, you know, the shape that I'm cutting here is not necessarily the best. All right, we'll turn the turn the blades off just so we don't do anything crazy. All right, turn the blades back on. So, like you know, you can see the my corners, right? Like, I don't know if that goes into the performance of your lawn. We'll get that little section in a second. So like here, right? We're gonna turn. And we're gonna get that section, but did that leave a big you know tire mark or something in that area that you know so like should I be going off the edge here, turning around, and doing straight passes back and forth to make pretty pretty grass lines? Definitely see where I missed on the edges. So by swinging out here like this, you know, am I am I hurting my performance? We shall see. Alright, so we've about got this section done. What did it say? 26 minutes? We're at 12. 42%. For our first time, I say that's not too bad. I think we're making some some good progress. So I think we'll try the next section with the more just trace around the outside edge, right? Like we were doing at the start. See, so like here, you can see the the cutting lines of me taking those circles. I'm not sure if that's a, a good thing or a bad thing. This is also probably not a very efficient way to cut on a mower. This is how I would cut with my hand push mower. Alright, let's turn around and see if we got it all. And a section there. Oh, look at that, like a blade left. Okay. Let's go ahead and start back up here. I'm around this corner out so we can make a corner there. And let's straighten this section out a little bit just to make future pass is easier. Alright, we got another thing on the left that we're going to have to deal with. Oops, screwed that up. We'll catch that on the next pass. Alright, we'll try to get this line straighter as well. I think the straighter we can get these lines, the better or easier it'll be for future passes. So same thing here, we'll drive straight, let's round that corner out, there we go. Alright, we'll come back and get that section here in a bit, but same thing here, we'll drive straight, straight as we can, get to a corner, drive this section straight, there we go. Yep, so there's a section we missed, we'll have to come back and get that. 
Okay, so that, that line's pretty straight now. So now when we get on these these sections, we should be able to, to run pretty straight. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of trying to judge by this left front wheel, like where the, the edge of the grass is. Uh-oh. Your vehicle's motor load is displayed at the bottom right of the screen. If you overload it by driving too fast and cutting too much grass at once, you will suffer engine damage and your cut quality will be affected. Cutting when overloaded will leave blades of grass uncut that have to be cut again and on vehicles, the collectors or mulchers or recycler kits, grass piles will be left. Alright, well finally we know, I think that's what that red thing means, so... Alright, I'll set the cruise at... Try to get to four. Let's see if that works better. Oh, let's slow it down a little bit. Let's go to 3.5. Oh, let's try 3.7. Now that also could be, I think this section, look how much taller this grass looks. So it might be that we just need to slow down more here or cut less of a wide path, right? Like if I go nice and wide here, you know, when it's cutting a lot of grass, that might overload it. Whereas if you only cut like, like if I go over here to the center, so I'm only cutting about half my blades, that might be a solution to that as well. So when we get to the taller grass, trying to take less of a, less of a bite out of it. All right, let's try not to kill any flowers here. Let's go ahead and work our way around the flower garden there, around the tree. And then we'll catch this on the way by. All right, so we did leave some there that we're gonna have to clean up. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and work my way out of that and fix these mistakes. So we'll get that grass. Looks like a little bit there, a little bit there. And then let's clean this up. Ooh, I might've got some flowers there. All right, I don't think we got fine. That could be good. Okay. So now that we're, we're starting to separate out some of our sections, just because of the, the shape of our grass here. Uh, this whole corner we're gonna have to really work on. It's messed up. And uh, we got that section up there. Let's go ahead and round this corner out. Um, and I think I'm gonna round this corner out here. Uh, same thing here. I think I'm gonna round this out so that we can just get that on the next pass. All right, so what we'll do, I think, is just kind of keep around this corner out a little bit too. So I'm gonna keep on this main section until it's done. And then we'll go back and get those chunks that we've left here and there. This little section here is getting pretty thin, so. Okay, so it's slowing down. We were running at like four and a half. Slowing down to three, seven. We haven't overloaded the, the mower since then, so. So that is good. Okay, so this is gonna be a hard corner to turn here. So I think now we're just gonna peel off and we'll finish cleaning this up over here. And then we'll try to get this little wedge that we left here. And then we'll get ourselves back on track here. And then same thing, let's go out here, clean up this wedge. And then we'll work our way back. And 
I think we can get most of that. Probably going to miss a section there. Section there. Alright, let's get this cleaned up. If you are uh, somebody who has used this kind of equipment, uh, feel free to leave some messages in the chat down below or the, the comments down below about all the things that I've done horribly wrong as a groundskeeper here. Alright, let's, let's get into this view here. So I think for like backing up that might make our life a little bit easier. Okay, so in this view, oh, there it did show up. Okay. All right, so there's like a little section right there. Okay, so I think this end, we've got the little trimmings around the outside edge. Uh, I think we're sitting pretty good there. What's going on over here? Alright. So there's something you have to be like stationary. Let's turn the blades off. Maybe that'll make a difference. Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's come down. So I've got a few blades right there okay so it looks like we've got most of that oh we got a little section behind us there that we missed I'm gonna leave it just to see uh, what 99% looks like alright let's catch these last sections stuff that we missed the corners that we did and stuff like that Yeah, there must be something that the control also does. Because sometimes when I hit it, it doesn't want to take. Alright, we're at 98.6%, so... I think if we get these last little sections that we've left... Okay, with the cutting complete, you now need to store your vehicle and equipment and then interact with your pickup truck to leave the patient. If you have left grass clippings on the pass for flower beds, you can pick them up before leaving to avoid any cleanup fees. So here, I feel weird. Like, I've met the game mechanics, but there was like a big section of grass right there. Um, but from a game mechanic standpoint, you know, there's no... Like, so all that grass over there, right? Like... I don't feel like I did a good job if I leave those sections. Uh, but that means that the minor clippings around the outside, not too worried about. You know, if it's if it's okay with that. Okay, so let's turn that off. And raise our deck. So the timer stops. So 2307 was when I hit the 99%. Right. Oh, look at the exhaust on the truck. That's nice. Old Nook Cottage. I like the kind of the fly-throughs that it gives you afterwards. All right, confirm. All right, let's see what, what career mode looks like here. So we've got ground check time bonus. We made some money there. Uh, ground check earnings. Well, I guess we get 20 for picking up their stuff. Cutting time bonus. Is that just $5.16? Okay. Uh, valuables recovered. That's interesting. Penalties and fines. <laughs> Holy cow. Four twenty-five dollars for knocking down their flowers. $0.25 cents for collisions. Oh, $4 for flowers. 
and 25 cents exclusion. So it's a total of 425. Uh, vehicle maintenance didn't cost me anything. Uh, the fuel. So eventually we're going to have to fuel up. So we'd have to keep track of that. Uh, we got 50 or 66 um, reputation points. So I guess we made 30205. I think that's the way I'm reading that. Um, A for next. Uh, this is your vehicle garage. Here you can fix damage vehicles, view statistics, purchase attachments, par part exchange vehicles, or purchase new ones. First, though, let's select your current vehicle so you can maintain it. All right, this screen shows all the information you'll need to keep track of your vehicle's performance and status. Let's maintain your vehicle and get it ready for the next contract by selecting the maintenance button. So in this, something in the interface I've noticed, like, so the maintenance button's down there and you guys can't see it. Below the maintenance button, it says A, confirm, B, back, but it doesn't highlight. It always throws me off. I expect it to highlight to be able to use it, but that's a minor little thing. Uh, it's important to keep your vehicles well maintained and fixed. After each contract, you should visit the garage, refilling your fuel tank and fixing any damage. Uh, you see the status of your vehicle to the left of the screen. If your vehicle needs attention, you see it now before returning to the contract map via LB or RB. Um, okay, so let's see. Vehicle repair. Your vehicle is damaged. Select how much of the damage you would like to repair. Five cents. Okay. Engine. I guess you can fix the engines. Blades, dollar twenty-four, or whatever their currency is. Petrol. So most of our thing is just refueling our thing. That's fine. Okay. That's maintenance for that. Do we also do maintenance on the? Okay, so it doesn't look like it's making me do trimmer maintenance. At least I don't see it in here. Shop. Oh, no, don't exit career mode. That's not what we wanted. Uh, okay, let's see. Garden, 345. Reputation is 75. So right now it doesn't look like it's giving me more than one to choose from. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Uh, we're at an hour, an hour and a half. All right, let's do one more contract and we'll probably call it because I think we'll have seen, seen most of the stuff, so... 99.5% cut, so a little bit more um, stringent on that one. Two and three eighths to two and three quarters, a little bit higher. Ground check, 30 minutes. Current grass, five. Okay, that all seems similar. We'll select our employees, select our. Uh, this time, I think we're going to do, a, we're not going to do the trimmer first. We're just going to jump on the mower. Well, we'll do the ground check. Then we'll jump on the mower and just see if we can get to that 99.5. And if we can't, then we will we'll pull the trimmer out and finish up. All right. Let's give this one a shot. Now that we kind of have it down, hopefully this one will go a little bit better. Got to remember to do the ground check. Like, it's lawn mowing, right? I just want to jump on the mower and uh, right button to sprint. There we go. I just want to jump on the mower and go. I don't want to... Okay, so this one's got five objects. That looks like a rocket. I heard a cow. Oh, there's something. I don't know what that was. That's a tight spot right there. kind of toy where's the last one we go back to this corner and kind of work our way around the edge I think we were over here already. I don't think 
Oh, no, that's where we started. Around the gazebo, there it was. What is that, like a rock? There we go. All right. Time to rock and roll. All right, so let's... What are we at? Two and three-eighths to two and three-quarters. We'll do the two and three-eighths. And let's just start it over here. We're going full-on brave mode here. I think we got a good chunk of space around the flowers there. We're just going to go around the whole outside first. So the question also could be the... Like, the time bonus. Like, start to track how much the time bonus is worth versus the... The mistakes that you might make because you cut down a flower, right? Like, I think we cut down two or three flowers in the last one, and that cost us like a buck twenty-five. But I think our time bonus was more than that. So, from a not taking pride in your work standpoint, but just in a purely game mechanic standpoint, you know, it might be worth going ahead and wiping a flower or two out just to get more time. Not sure. All right. All right, we're back to the beginning there. All right, so that was a single lap. So now we've got a nice even, even border that we can pretty much now, we'll try to straighten out some of these sections. Uh, but we're just going to do the whole round robin game here. Looks to be some pretty big open spots here. Uh, I can definitely see some areas where I've left quite a bit of grass along the edges. So uh, We might not get to our 99% or 995 I think for this one. Um, on our first cut. So we might have to go grab the trimmer and just kind of go around and get the sections till it gives us a full com full complete. Alright, so for this one I haven't overloaded yet. I'll go ahead and set the cruise. I've been running full throttle all the way around. Alright, we are going to go ahead and just kind of... Oh, there I overloaded. Okay, so notice that when I cut through, because I took a full cut, full path, that's when it overloaded. As I'm working my way around the edge, since I'm not cutting, the whole blade's not cutting all the way across, it hasn't really been overloading. If I kind of run at that three quarters, three quarters across the front bar there. But when I cut through the center, the whole, the whole blade was cutting, right? And that overloaded me a little bit. I think this is going to work great until we get to the the sections where we're going to have to cut around stuff. Like the gazebo and the flower beds and stuff. Yeah, there's a section I missed there on the left. So I'm thinking it might be quicker just to make sure that we... You don't try to take too wide of a cut because then you sometimes leave that little little fringe of grass. That wasn't the best corner in the world. Right, we're making great progress on this one though. 26% at 4 minutes. 
I think it said it recommended a half an hour on this one, 30 minutes. Call it five minutes once we get around some stuff. I think we're on about a 20 minute mark. So that's doing pretty well. Now it might be damaging my lawnmower just by driving over those paths. It hasn't said anything about it, you know, but it seems logical that like the blades could hit those rocks or something like that. All right, we're gonna have to deal with that thing here pretty soon, probably in the next pass. So like here, as we kind of approach this, right, you know, is driving across that section of rocks hard on the mower or not? Um, I haven't seen anything yet, so we're going to assume no. Because, I mean, just cutting the grass here, your blades will get dull and different things like that. So, so some maintenance would be required. Um, from a personal bias standpoint, I don't think I care for the the speed aspect of it, the trying to get stuff done with a time bonus. I think that takes some of the relaxation, maybe, you know, of, of this kind of a cutting patterns and stuff like that away. Uh, but it's a, it's a completely legitimate mechanic, but... I'm just saying as a personal bias, uh, I would I would probably go more with the would you want to do a, a really, really good job uh, versus, okay, here we might get an overload. Yep, there you go. So when we cut across the grass and cut full the full thing, um, you know, get extra points based off of like things like not having tire tracks or or something but not sure it almost feels like I'm trying to drive a race car around the track as fast as I can go all right at some point here we are have to make a decision about going a different way around this section right here And I think we're going to go ahead and cut. Let's slow down a little bit. So now if I go through this slower. So I don't overload the engine. There we go. And put the cruise back on. Okay, so we have this corner to clean up eventually. And around that bush that we just went around, we're going to have to clean that up eventually. Oh, hold on. I'm seeing some chat, and I can't quite read it, so I'm afraid I'll get off my lines. Whoa, there we go. I tried to read chat. Uh, hold on. Let me let me pop over. Uh, da, 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 there we go. Chat's still upset from that Nightbot spam thing that we had, so... Okay, there we go. Don't know why it's not showing up on that window. Um, smell this game. I imagine intensity of the cut grass. Um, multiplayer racing lawnmowers? That could be interesting. Um, okay, that looks like it pauses stuff. That's, that's kind of nice, so you can pause things. Let me see if I can fix the chat. Um, the stream chat has completely messed up. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I can see a different chat though. So let's open that one up a little bit bigger. Let's put that on stream health. I'm just gonna type thanks in the chat, see if it fixes my, there we go, that fixed the chat. So, uh, very strong flowers, pinnacle of gaming. I can smell this game, imagine the intensity of the cut grass with all the, yeah. Uh, add multiplayer thrown motion. 
Yeah, I don't know if there's a multiplayer multiplayer or not. So. All right, I definitely messed that section up though. We'll fix that later. Okay, so this is something that I've noticed. Ah, got a little drift on the camera there. Let's fix the camera. Um, when I go off to that, when I paused it, right? It's broken my um, cruise control. So you can see it turning on, but it won't stay on. So, not sure if that's a a known issue or if it's something I'm doing wrong. Okay, let's see how bad I messed this section up up here, because I think this is where I started to try to read the chat. No, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe it's around the next corner. Somewhere here I got off course, I think, and messed up. Yep, right there. Okay, we're going to fix that on this pass. We'll fix that there. All right. And let's go ahead and round this corner off. We'll come around here. We'll round that corner off. All right, so that's another section we're going to have to fix later. So now what I'm having to do is I just have to hold the the trigger down. The cruise control is broken. Let's try to pause again. Yeah. It's almost like something else. Oh, I think I accidentally cut the blades off. Turned the blades off. All right. Well, that section is going to be messed up. Uh, we'll fix it on the next pass through. Yeah, the camera system has like a, almost like a drift to it where it has momentum and if you keep, if you turn it in one direction, it kind of keeps moving in that direction. Oh, that's screwed up there. I'll have to fix that later. Oh, I got a flower. I have been fined. All right. One flower, not too bad. I mean, are they out here counting their flowers? How would they know? I could just hide it. Who's going to notice one flower? Yeah, there's where I turn, accidentally turned off the blade. Right there, so... Oh, I forgot that Nightbot is still doing the extra life spam, so. Um, so not necessarily for this stream, um, but I do, whoa, about took out the flowers. Um, on weekends, on Saturdays from 10 to 2 Pacific time, um, I do stream for extra life. I play Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, so if you want to join those streams, you can. Um, but for this stream, I'm not going to push the extra life stuff too much. Uh, if you are curious about it, though, uh, you can follow the link in the, the chat that Nightbot spammed out there for us. And you can donate money to the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Uh, but that's not the purpose of this stream. I just forgot that I still had that running. And I haven't used Nightbot a lot, but I thought it was linked to one particular stream as opposed to all of my streams. So. I learned something today as well. Okay, let's see if we can get some stuff cleaned up here. Let's fix this. Back it up. Fix that. Let's go around the wide section here. We'll chop a little bit of that off. We'll come by, fix this. Grab some of that. Oops. Alright, let's get some of this that we missed. Yeah, so like there, like I pressed the, the key and it it reset the camera as opposed to doing that th thing that I was looking for. So. 
Okay, I think we cleaned up a lot of that. Um, let's try not to kill any flowers here. And we'll get this section fixed here. And we'll fix this section here. Uh-oh. You have managed to damage the ground and destroy some of the grass. Ground damage is caused by turning your vehicle at full lock for an extended period of time. Ground damage will earn you penalties and fines, with some locations finding higher amounts than others. Okay, so... What that means is I need to quit going full bore around the corners when I do a 180. Uh, out here is probably fine. I, I can just whip it around. But once you're in the grass, what I'm going to want to do is, when I get here, we'll slow down to make our turn so that we're not destroying the ground. I do like the kind of, uh, when the first thing, first time something occurs, that hint system uh, seems to be pretty solid. So we'll slow ourselves down. Yeah, so I'm trying to hit the... Yeah, so th there I wasn't giving me the highlight, so... I'm probably doing something wrong, but... Okay. Uh, we've cleaned that up. We've cleaned this up. We'll go ahead and get ourselves back on track here. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and clean this edge around the flowers. Hopefully without killing too many. That's going to be tight. Not too bad. Alright, and then we'll cut out wide here. Clean that up. And we'll get ourselves back on back on our original path here. Try to cut that corner. There we go. Same thing here. We'll fix that later. Uh, gazebo is going to be an issue here in a few different rounds. Probably have to deal with that next time around. Right, let's get that section. Right, try not to turn too wide here. Let's go ahead and come over here and clean this up. I think we got all of that. Let's fix this little section here. All right, what are we at? 82 percent. Back into the main run here. Let me widen so I can make this corner shallower. There we go. used a quarter of tank of gas. Alright, let's go ahead and cut that corner there. And we'll cut that corner there. Alright, so we're going to have a couple places to kind of come back and fix, but I think it's going to get us, get us flowing again. Uh, it looks like Nightbot is busy again. Getting some chat spam. So I apologize for that. Clean that up here in a second. Alright, now we're kind of getting into the... We're going to have to clean the gazebo up here in a second, but...
Yeah, I think we can get around this edge probably one more time. And we'll have that pretty much cleaned up. Okay. So the question now is going to be to hit that 99.5%. Are we going to have to go back around the edges with the trimmer? Or we'll be able to get everything in the main yard. Because like that triangle up there in front of us, we'll have to go clean that up. Let's go ahead and get around the gazebo here. Alright, I think that's all of that. So let's come back and get this big section done. Same thing. We'll cut our corner there. like once we get this little section done here I think all we have left is like that right there on the left where we've left triangles of grass floating about like if we go back and get those will it be enough to get us to our our 99.5 percent all right we're gonna slow down a little bit here so it's not to damage our customers lawn Okay, 98.6. So we need 0.9% now. But like up there to the front of us, up and to the left, we've got a lot of these like sections where we've cut through a corner or something like that. That if we just pick them up, if there's one there, there's one up by the flowers. There's 99.3. Whoa, that was dangerous. Ugh. I'm worried I'm going to hit the flowers. There we go. Ninety-nine point four. Okay, hopefully this key works. Give me, give me, nope, nope, nope. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Is there any big bits? Oh, there's one behind us. Let's go hit that one. Like here. Is that cut, uncut right there? There we go. There we go. 2105. Okay, shut our blades off. Raise our deck. I don't want to get off the vehicle. Don't want to hit anything. It's a pretty good looking lawn though. Look at that. Uh, let's go down a couple of... There we go. Not too bad. Uh, I think we took out one flower. Uh, but beyond that... I think it's pretty straightforward. All right, let's go ahead and park this beast up on our trailer. We didn't even have to use our trimmer, so. All right, I do like this little kind of fly through, um, and it's it looks to be in engine, right? Like trying to see. It looks like my tracks are in there. Um, so they're just using the camera to... So if you screwed up a section or cut down all the flowers or something like that, um, I do want to kind of do that. The chaos part of me is like show up at somebody's house and cut all their flowers down just to see how big the fine would be. Uh, would you lose money on the job? Uh, that could be interesting. So not sure though. All right. So I think we're going to go ahead and start to wrap this up. Um, looks like just some blade damage, which is going to happen. But uh, So we got $4, or again, euros maybe, uh, for the ground check time bonus. 20 for the ground check earnings. 
16 for the cutting time bonus. So uh, penalties, we got a buck 26, uh, 25 cents for collisions, one cent for ground damage, whatever that is, um, and a buck for the the flowers. So <laughs> yeah, um, so I think it's you know it's like going for the speed. You know the cutting time bonus is 16, offset the the dollar 26 in damages we did. Now one of the tooltips did say that can vary. So maybe as your prestige goes up and you do higher in contracts any damage could be very expensive. Like if you're doing a golf course and screw up their greens or something like that. But okay. Next. Um, looks like I have become new camera rank two. I have no idea what that means. Uh, opened up some kind of a challenge. Okay. Uh, welcome to your company HQ. Uh, here you can edit your avatar company ID as well as take out advertisements to gain more reputation points towards ranking up. Uh, your company's current rank and progress bar and the next rank can be seen up in the top right of the screen. I do like how it's kind of leading you through, you know. Um, now, we did choose to play with tutorials on. Uh, if you've played this before and you're on your second playthrough or something like that, you could turn most of this stuff off, I believe. Uh, only has one vehicle bay, uh, but once you earn more money, you can upgrade to have a second vehicle bay or purchase a bigger HQ with multiple extra vehicle bays. Uh, once you have a second vehicle and start to hire another employee to complete extra contracts and earn more money. Uh, it would be interesting to see, do, you know, does it eventually become a, a management sim where you don't drive anymore, you just are running the business? Um, when I was playing Farming Simulator, you could do that. You could hire out people to, you take the contract and hire out people to actually do it. Uh, okay, so the last thing we're going to do, we're not going to upgrade. We're not going to purchase an HQ. Probably not going to edit our company or whatever. Um, okay, it does look like we're now getting multiple. So the first couple, I think, are just part of the tutorial. But now we've got multiple things based off our reputation. Um, complexity seems to be a stat there. Uh, okay, what else do we got? We've got our mower here. Um, let's go ahead and oh, you can sell it. Part exchange. I'm guessing you just sell the parts off of it. Uh, let's go into maintenance. Um, we've got engine. We have 14 cents for that vehicle. Three cents for damage. So is that separate from the engine? Yep, 14 cents. Blades 564. Um, now I don't know if you let your blades get really, really weak. Is it like, okay, now it's going to cut worse. Um, the engine overloads more. We've got the money. We'll go ahead and do that. All right. Well, two jobs down. We went from a hundred to seven fifty four thirty seven. Um, while maintaining our stuff. Oh, this is kind of cool. Uh, distance driven. Grass cut in square yards. Vol oh, okay. So what this is, is um, if you want to part exchange your... Okay, so I can trade in, I think. I think part exchange means trade in. Uh, so I can trade in my current mower for a different mower. Um, in this case, I would actually, looks like it gained some money. Uh, we're not going to do that, though. Sell vehicle... Uh, okay, what else we got? Active loans. Apply for a loan. That's our HQ. Advertisement. Social media. Local flyers. Okay, there's some complexity to this that I would have not thought about. Um, you know, this, this whole HQ section where you're running the business part uh, is kind of cool. You know, the... Uh, where was it? The advertising purchase HQ advertisement. There we go. Um, cost per day. Do you? S um, that's interesting. Is it you spend two hundred and ten reputation points, or do you gain them? I would guess you gain them. So you, you're kind of trading money for reputation here, potentially, um, through advertisements. So potentially, I don't know. 
All right. Uh, I think um, yeah, let's not completely leave yet, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. We'll go ahead and pop back out here. We're going to leave career mode. Um, and again, it does have these these challengers challenges that you can do. Um, and it's also got this free mo thing. So if you just want to, I guess, take the time limits off and just go and enjoy mowing, um, you can do that. Uh, from what I read in the, the intro parts, it's you unlock stuff in the career mode to get into free mo mode here. Um, and then there's a couple of expansions as well um, that if you get really into this, you can actually do so. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I was gonna try to do this last night, but like I said, the, the epic version didn't work anymore. Um, but now it's up and running. Um, if you are watching this within the first week, uh, Lawnmower and Simulator on the Epic Store is being given away for free for the first week. Um, then they're gonna start selling it. So um, it's part of their, I think, promotion because they just start, just put it on the, the Epic Store. Um, I also believe it's available for the consoles, the PlayStation and the Xbox and different things like that. Um, and it's on Steam as well, if you're more of a Steam person. Uh, so definitely found it interesting, um, more than what I expected. Uh, so hopefully this helped a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. The, the How do they make games on amazing or amazing games on random ideas, right? Like uh, I would not have, if I was sitting and brainstorming, I'm going to make a fun game. Let's do lawn mowing. You know, I, it's not what I would have thought of. Um, or Power Wash Simulator. Um, I've watched that one. I haven't played it. Um, and like I said early on, I've got I've got a pottery one on my... It's an early access game on my wish list on Steam. Um, at least pottery, I think a lot of people get enjoyment and relaxation out of doing pottery. But um, maybe lawn mowing is that as well. So, uh, All right. Um, whoa, Mike went really hot there. Uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. Um, as always, go watch, play, or create something great. See you guys.